Hello guys, and this, we're going to be reviewing another 1980s movie like we did yesterday with Bad Taste. This time we're doing another horror comedy that has Howie Mandel, Fred Savage, Daniel Stern, and Ben Savage. You guessed it, it's, um, Little Monsters. I have a copy of it on Blu-ray, which I'll show you at the end of this video. It's the Little Monsters Vestron copy. It's number 19. More information at the end of the video. Um, so this is just a short intro. We're going to get right into the video. I am known on Letterboxd's Flick a Pick. Go check me out. I'm known on TikTok as Random155. Go check me out. You will love it there. So, yes. Let's get right into the review. So, the plot, the premise of this movie, I'm going to give it to you simple, no spoilers. This kid finds a monster, monster, a whole monster colony under his bed, and he has an adventure with one monster called Maurice, played by Howie Mandel, the boy played by Fred Savage, and the other boy played by Eric Savage, the father played by Daniel Stern. Now, I'm telling you, this movie is epic. I love it. It's just great. This It's an special, it's a special effects extravaganza it's just like good 1980s, it's a good 1980s movie, like it's what you want, it has comedy, it has good actors, it has funny moments, it has special effects, it's, this movie felt like it was directed by Tim Burton, but it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't at all, and it felt like Howie Mandel was playing Beetlejuice all along in this movie, and I'm like, what in the world, but, but it, it was really fun movies, so, after that is said, I'm going to be talking about, like, the story. It's it, it's not that great of a story. It's just like this kid just finds a whole monster city under his bed. I give the story a 6 out of 10 for how just, like, they could have had, like, something like... Like a conflict. There is a little bit of a conflict, but it ain't that big of a conflict. They get over the conflict. It's not that great. So a 6 out of 10. The acting now is a 10 out of 10 for Howie Mandel, the voice of the gremlins and all. It was just amazing. He used to do so good back in the 80s. Now he's just not doing great at AGT and stuff. It's not that great, but it's a great movie. You should go watch Little Monsters and Gremlins and all the movies Howie Mandel has played in. <laughs> He's a good little actor. And so, um, now I just tripped. Um, I give the acting a 10 out of 10 for Fred Savage's unique performance. He always gives a good performance, like in any movie I've ever seen him in. Um, so yes, the, um, special effects, I have to give a 10 out of 10 too for how well the special effects were pulled off. Like, they were enough to scare a child like my 10 year old brother who he was scared and i had to cut it off last night and watch it today because he can't stand any of that crap but um i just give all this whole movie a 10 out of 10 for how well they made this movie it was made in 1989 this movie is great check it out now let's get in to the dvd so we got it right over in my collection, guys. It is a digitally restored version. It's a collector's edition. It has Blu-ray and digital. And it's a Bestron video number 19. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to get more of these. And it has some unique art in here. Like, it's an art cover. It just It's a nostalgic thing. Um, But yeah, it, it's really great. So, you should get it. I think it's probably, like, $13 on eBay. So, just get it, guys. It's a really great um, little Blu-ray there to have in your collection if you're collecting Vestron 1980s movies or anything. So, just get it, guys. Um, um, and also, a shout-out to Luke Ponto if he's watched my Bad Taste video. And um, if he's watched my channel, I know he's subscribed to me. Thank you, Luke Ponto, for how you have just inspired me over these past few days. So, thank you. See you later, guys.